Okay, so firstly, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, PestMart Diagnostics demo. My name is Amy and I'm the Sales Operations Executive here at Cabby. So quick overview of PestMart then. Uh, based on training materials from the award-winning PlantWise program, PestMart consists of five modules, each broken down to around 30-minute lessons. Users also gain access to the Diagnostic Field Guide, which is the accompanying ebook, and also the Plant Diagnostic Simulator app, which is a, a fun game basically designed to test the user's diagnostic skills. In numbers, the e-learning course contains over 15 hours of training using more than 1,000 high-quality photos and over 400 knowledge check questions. The ebook contains 100 pages of learning material and over 400 images and reference tables. And the app contains over 20 different diagnostic scenarios covering four crops, and those four crops are cassava, cabbage, tomato and maize. Just to give you a very quick overview um, of the sort of content in the actual e-learning course, um, here are the modules and the lesson breakdowns. So as you can see, uh, some of the modules are um, longer than others. So key benefits, uh, so benefits for the users include a practical course enabling them to go directly out into the field and apply their learning. The course is tried and tested. Cabby has many years experience teaching pest diagnostics. The knowledge checks in the course also enable the learner to assess their own progress as they go. And for the institution actually offering the course, um, the growing seasons may not fit well with the teaching curriculum. So PestMart, of course, can be taught at any time of the year and can complement the time your students spend in the actual classroom. The course extends uh, the teaching specialisms that the faculty may not be able to offer as well. Uh, so now I'm just going to give you a, a very quick demo of the uh, e-learning course. The URL for access, elearning.cabby.org. Um, and if you uh, purchase the hosted LMS package, so that's basically where we host um, the content on our own platform, uh, all access is via username and password. Um, but if purchasing the SCORM package for upload to your own VLE, uh, of course, all access uh, is controlled by the institution. Uh, so I'll just sign in using my student account. So this is what a student will see um, when signing into the course. So this homepage is unique uh, to the user. At the moment, we have P uh, PestMart Diagnostics uh, listed there. Uh, but in the future, I know Cabby are hoping to offer uh, more PestSmart based um, courses. So I think the next stage that's currently in the sort of very, very early stages of development at the moment is PestSmart management, which of course would be the next uh, logical step after diagnostics. Um, so all access, uh, if subscribing to multiple courses, all the user access is through this um, one username and password login. Um, and then we have the progress here um, and the score based on the knowledge checks, which is, of course, unique to each user. Clicking on the view details here allows you to jump into any module or lesson. Um, although, of course, we uh, do suggest uh, completing the course uh, sequentially. Clicking resume here allows you to resume the course from wherever you last left off. Now, uh, it looks a little bit small on the screen at the moment because I am viewing on a laptop. 
if viewing uh, sat at a PC with a standard monitor, um, you know, the, the course looks fine, but you can uh, go into full screen mode using this option here. Um, and that enlarges the course and makes it much easier um, to read. Um, so that's quite essential if viewing on a laptop, but if viewing on a standard PC monitor, you shouldn't have any, any problems. Each module starts with an introductory video from Phil Taylor, who is our in-house cabbie pest expert. And he basically introduces the course and outlines the learning objectives. Um, or you can just click here uh, and it will show you the uh, learning objectives for this particular module. The arrows at the bottom here uh, allows you to progress either forward or backwards um, through the different slide sets within this module. Um, and then this is actually obviously the, the actual main content of the course. Um, and you can click on images uh, to bring up a much more uh, detailed and larger image there with more information. Um, so as you can see here, we've got some really good uh, high quality, high resolution uh, images. And then whenever a user sees the uh, Phil Taylor icon uh, here popping up in the bottom right hand corner, uh, clicking on Phil uh, will reveal extra sort of hints and tips and extra information. So once you're um, in the course, you can use the uh, options up here on the left hand uh, side of the screen. Um, to again jump to a different module. Um, so if you wanted to review a particular module you'd already completed, you can always use this um, this option uh, to, to jump to a different module. Or quite handily as well, uh, we have a menu option here to the right. And this allows you to uh, go to specific slides within the, the module and lesson that you're currently viewing. Um, so if you did want to review any material or refer back to a particularly interesting uh, image or slide, you can use this, um, this particular uh, menu to navigate back to that. Um, so I'll just go to a knowledge check question here just to show you what one of those looks like. Um, so, of course, the knowledge checks are a big feature of PestSmart. Um, clicking on uh, the magnifying glass here will enlarge the image so you can take a real closer look. Uh, so, which one of these is uh, considered to be pustules? Now, we can select an answer using uh, See selecting here and then clicking submit um, and you'll of course be informed whether um, your answer is incorrect or correct. Um, you can then either try the question again or reveal the correct answer. Uh, so I'll try again and I'm not actually sure what the answer to this one is so if I click reveal it then tells me the correct answer, um, but again, uh, quite useful. It tells you why the other um, options uh, may not be correct uh, and, you know, what might have uh, led you to go with one answer when in actual fact it was the other one. Um, so that's another form of really uh, sort of hammering home uh, certain points uh, about the various, um, you know, the various uh, pests covered. Uh, and with the knowledge checks as well, we've uh, tried to vary these a little bit, so they're not always in the same form. There's sort of uh, true or, or, or false um, statements, um, uh, questions based around those, and also, uh, you know, which statement best describes type uh, questions. So there is a variety within the knowledge checks. Um, so if I just exit full screen mode, um, what a user can also do is track their own progress throughout the course. So clicking on reports up here in the right hand corner. 
Um, so this shows their score, uh, which is the overall score for the knowledge checks they've completed so far. So you see I'm probably not doing too great at the moment. Or you can also see overall progress um, throughout the actual course. And now very quickly, just to finish up, um, I'm going to sign out as an actual student. So that's what a student would see. I'm going to sign in as a teacher. Uh, so instance, each institution can nominate a teacher. And this is basically obviously the, the professor teaching the course or the course leader. Um, and they get an overall uh, view of their uh, students' progress. They can also um, preview the course as well by clicking here. That will take them through to the actual um, course. Uh, and this gives a quick overview of the average progression and average score of all the, their students. Uh, you can view a, a score report. You can view it for all students or you can select um, an individual student to, to analyze further. So this can give you a really good idea um, of how your students are doing within the course, how they're progressing. You could uh, see who's actually not accessed the course at all and follow up appropriately. Um, and then exact same again with the um, with the progress as well. So you can see uh, how how your students are progressing through the course. And you can really um, drill down as well um, on here to the individual students, um, you know, progression or score. So that actually um, concludes the overview and demo. I hope that everything was nice and clear and that you all found that nice and informative. The email address uh, is training at cabby.org. Um, so feel free to, to drop an email uh, if you do have any further questions um, or, or anything comes to you at a later date, just uh, let me know training at cabby.org um, and obviously I'll get back to you as soon as possible and put you into contact with uh, you know my colleagues if needed. Great. So thank you very much, everyone, for attending uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.